Any man can make a mistake. He can make lots of mistakes. But when he meets a woman and falls in love with her... Yeah, I see what you mean. We had a scene together, and then they would do the close-ups, and they would do his close-up first. And I would be acting with him, but I would be watching him. And I would think, how does he do that? If he's not, quote, doing anything. And yet everything is there. And I thought, that's what I want. And I've been working on it ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to invite a lady who is most known for her co-star, the creature from the Black Lagoon, <laughs> Julie Adams. Hello there. Hi, how are you? Come right over here. Okay, thank you. Uh, are you going to be okay standing up here? Hmm? Are you okay standing or? Sure. Okay, great. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that we don't block the Slim Carter poster that's behind you. Heavens no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I could go a little further if you want to. We can all be here. We're here to talk about Westerns because we really enjoy those the oh. most. And one of our favorite directors who did the classic Randolph Scott films that were shot in Lone Pine written by Burt Kennedy, was Bud Bedecker. And you were fortunate enough to do three movies with Bud. Oh, yes. What was he like? Bud Bedecker was a lot of fun to work with because he was full of energy and he was uh, uh, determined to make everything exciting and, and uh, alive and so on. And so it was... It was a good experience. It really was. He stood Westerns, I think, more than many directors. He certainly did. He, he certainly he did. He was quite a horseman, too, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He, uh, and very often, when we were shooting something, if uh, nothing, if they were thinking about other things or whatever, and, and he would ride around on this, you know, on the, on the low. Player, too. I certainly was a contract player, absolutely. <laughs> and the, the people who were contract players at the time, like Rock Hudson, I, I think uh, Clint Eastwood was coming in about that time, yes, too. Yes, yes. And Burt Reynolds. Did and they... Laurie Nelson. Laurie Nelson was uh, uh, my younger sister in one of them or something, or, or in the pictures. What, what sort of regimen did they have? Because t today, of course, it's all independent films, and the studios just... Uh, finance each film separately with pickup cast back then with the contract players they would put them from one film to the next were you all in classes together for horseback riding for dance for yes speech? they offered that to us they offered it so so i could go out and uh, if i was doing a western i could go out with a wrangler and ride a horse that they would <laughs> you know, have not too jazzy a horse. <laughs> that, uh, and he would teach me things, mm -hmm. teach me things. So it was a great experience, and I always loved riding horses, so I enjoyed that all very much. Well, there were some favorite horses. I know James Stewart had one called Pie that was his favorite horse that you got to ride in one of your films. I got to ride Pie. And Pie. <laughs> yes. And Pie was an absolutely wonderful movie horse because he responded so quickly. If you just gave him a little nudge like this, he would go from a walk to a trot. And if you wanted to go a little faster, you gave him another little come and he would go into an easy canter. And you, you didn't pop up and down, you know. It was, it always made you look good. And so, uh, who wouldn't want a horse like that in a movie? <laughs> it was a great experience. One of the Bud Bedecker films you did was another 3D movie, Wings of the Hawk. Desperate story of two who met and loved and dared to live under the staccato roar of enemy bullets. Listen, you make a move now and they'll be for nothing. The line is up against the wall with the rest of them. You can't stand here and watch the murder. Wings of the Hawk. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. you played a, a bad girl, a bandita. Yes, I played a Mexican bandit girl. I don't know that you would call it typecasting. <laughs> but, 
But uh, that probably I, wouldn't happen today. But I remember you had a, a big sombrero, <laughs> oh, yeah. a really great outfit. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know they I mean? made them in wardrobe for me. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Which made it rather hard to get on the horse, actually. You know. <laughs> And Van Heflin was in that. What a terrific actor he oh, is. Wonderful actor. It was a great pleasure and a treat to work with Van Heflin. With Bud, was there something? Did you have meet with him between films for him to say, I want Julie again in this movie. I, I need her. She's exactly <laughs> what I'm looking for. Well, I don't know that we met about that, but uh, I was always delighted when I... I, I love to work, so... Hey, another picture with Bud Bennett? Fine. Fine with me. Uh-huh. I was delighted. <laughs> good director. Yeah, he certainly was a good director. Mm-hmm. And another mm-hmm. uh, a great director you worked with who made some of the best James Stewart westerns ever made, Anthony Mann. Anthony Mann. You did yes. Bend of the River Bend with him. Bend of the River. Mm-hmm. Starring James Stewart as Glenn McClintock, Indian fighter, trailblazer, a tower of strength in the wilderness. Come on, keep going. Yes, sir. Arthur Kennedy, whose smile hid the desperation of a hunted man. Julia Adams, who made the mistake of loving two men. Rock Hudson, who gambled with cards and with lives. Your star. One of the, the things about the Anthony Mann films was he used the landscape as a character. And so he went on location to, I believe, Bend, Oregon for that yes, film. Yes, yes, we were up in Oregon. <laughs> so what, what, what was it like with the crew, the cast, uh, on, on location so far away from Universal back lot? It was absolutely wonderful because uh, you didn't have to use your imagination about the place or the whatever, and it was there. And also he made, uh, you know, we had wonderful people um, on the, on the, in the show who, uh, you know, the, the good writers, the good... Everyone and so it was. A, it was really a lovely experience, one of the best. Because when I was a kid, I always loved westerns, so I was very happy to be in a western film and uh, uh, get to ride horses and you know gallop around and whatever. <laughs> well, and with Jimmy Stewart too. Oh well, that's absolute aces. James Stewart is one of our. Very best film actors. Anything you paid for that food will give you ten times what it cost if you bring it to the diggin'. Hey, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Any man can make a mistake. He can make lots of mistakes. But when he meets a woman and falls in love with her... Yeah, I see what you mean. And so it was a great learning experience for me, too. Because I remember uh, when we had a scene together... And then they would do the close-ups, and they would do his close-up first. And I would be acting with him, but I would be watching him. And I would think, how does he do that? He's not, quote, doing anything. And yet everything is there. And I thought, that's what I want. And I've been working on it ever since. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you've done a fine job. (laughs) It looks like magic. Your background wasn't rugged, wasn't cowboy, but here they had you driving a wagon through a rapid river. It looks like it's you uh, when we we see the film. Was it, were you doubled or did you do some of that yourself? I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, I think they let me do quite a bit of it myself so that, you know, they made sure the horses were not completely cuckoo, you know. So So I did do quite a bit of it myself. And then later, when James Stewart had a sitcom, you played his wife in the James Stewart show. What a great job. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yes. Uh, I always thought that's a... One of the best six months I ever had was working with Jimmy Stewart, you know, for six months, really, on, the, on that series. You know, not only was the leading man great in uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, but Julie was in, in her white bathing suit. Does everybody remember the white bathing suit? <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that especially designed for you? Yes, it was. Rosemary O'Dell, who was a designer in uh, wardrobe, she was in, and, and she designed it, and they made it right there in wardrobe and fitted it on me. Um, 
literally, you know, so that it was... It, it was, was clingy, I'll say That's that. right, and they made uh, uh, several of them because I had a double that did some things that I couldn't do, you know, in the pictures. <laughs> well, had you done any underwater uh, scuba diving prior to that? A little bit. On little expeditions, you know, out in ocean places and so on. And um, so I did have a thing once with a mask and so I could breathe and swim underwater. And it felt right. Mm -hmm. I loved it. At that time, that movie was in 3D, uh, where uh, 1953, when the craze was at its peak. And that's really one of the most, if not the most famous 3D movie, Creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> it's frightening still. It works. A throwback to a creature that had existed a hundred million years ago. Immensely strong and destructive. No! It's a wonderful part. I, and probably when you were making it, you had no idea that it would be so famous many years later. If anybody told me we would even be talking about this movie all these years later, I would have said, are you crazy? This is something, you know, it'll come and go and whatever. But uh, I'm very pleased, of course, that so many people have enjoyed it so much. And something I want to talk about, too, which I forgot. When you first came to town, to Hollywood, you did, uh, I believe, five or six Lippert Westerns that were with Russell Hayden. See, we're getting some recognition that's right, here. That's right. Russell Hayden and James Ellison. Jimmy who had been Ellison. Lucky. Jimmy Ellison. And yes. I, I think you shot all five of them back to back in one month. Absolutely. <laughs> and was that kind of a nice eye opener for the business? I loved it. <laughs> I absolutely loved it because. Uh, I learned to ride on, you know, I had a, a wrangler who rode with me, you know, while we would go out, <laughs> ride well without bouncing in the saddle <laughs> and handle the horse uh, as hopefully as uh, that I would look like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> so uh, it was a wonderful experience. I, as a kid, I loved horses. I used to go out to the, to a, a riding stable, which was close to where I lived, and um, I got to talking to the guys, and they uh, let me ride some of the horses, you know. So, so I was always a, a nut about horses. <laughs> because of the the speed that they had to shoot those B westerns, in, were there retakes, or was there a lot of good enough? Let's keep moving. <laughs> well, there was a lot. I think we we all got into. Uh, also, we rehearsed some, mm -hmm. you know. So that was great that we rehearsed, so that by the time we came to the, the camera, uh, we were, and also we got to know each other mm -hmm. on the set and so on, so that we were, uh, we were sort of, okay, we're ready to go. And uh, so that was the way it was, and I liked it that way. Well, they're a lot of fun to watch. Oh, well, thank so, you. <laughs> I want to thank Julie for being here today. Uh, yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all so much. James Stewart as Glenn McClintock, Indian fighter, trailblazer, a tower of strength in the wilderness. Come on, keep going! Yes, sir. Arthur Kennedy, whose smile hid the desperation of a hunted man. Julia Adams, who made the mistake of loving two men. Rock Hudson, who gambled with cards and with lives. Your father. Anything you take for that food will give you ten times what it costs if you bring it to the diggin'. Hey, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Any man can make a mistake. He can make lots of mistakes. But when he meets a woman and falls in love with her... Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll be seeing you, Glenn. 
You'll be seeing me. Every time you bet down for the night, you'll look back into the darkness and wonder if I'm there. And some night I will be. You'll be seeing me. games with me. When I love, it's going to be for a long time. I don't care how much you steal. Just don't steal from me. Here's color, excitement, action in three-dimension magic. So real you might touch every person, every scene. So vivid, you live every tingling second of every gunfight, every thrill. Starring a brawling, battling, dynamic Van Heflin. A sultry, smoldering Julia Adams. With fiery and seductive Abby Lane, George Dolenz, and Noah Beery. In the desperate story of two who met and loved and dared to live under the staccato roar of enemy bullets. Listen, you make a move now and they'll be for nothing. They'll line us up against the wall with the rest of them. You can't stand here and watch them murder. The stampede, the horse is right up behind them. 